Hey doctors, welcome to the Hello Mentor Need PG Simplified Series and today we are going to cover the Madhya Pradesh State Need PG Counseling where we are going to cover the important aspects related to the governing body which conducts the Need PG Counseling in the state followed by which we will look at the types of colleges, seats, their eligibilities, types of reservations, complete round wise rules and regulations, post allotment process, what are the fees and as well as we will take a look at the college's details of both government and as well as in the private too. Let's start up with the governing body which handles the state counselling. The governing body in the state of Madhya Pradesh is Directorate of Medical Education and the counselling process takes completely online. The candidates will be visiting the website as you can see on the screen dme.mponline.gov.in and follow up with the important necessary notifications regarding the counseling let's take a look at the details of the colleges in the state of madhya pradesh there are a total of 24 medical institutes out of which four are private four are private state universities and 16 are government institutes and if you look at the seat distribution a total of 2060 seats are available out of which 1120 are government seats in which 687 seats will be coming under the All India Quota and 433 seats will be coming under the Government Quota of Madhya Pradesh State Council. When it comes to the private seats, 940 seats are offered and in which 788 seats will be under the Management Quota and 152 seats will be under the NRA Quota. Let's take a look at the types of seats available. There are three types of seats present. Government Quota seats, Management Quota seats and as well as the NRA Quota seats. And their eligibilities are for the Government seats all the candidates who had completed their MBBS from the state of Madhya Pradesh and if any of the candidates who had completed MBBS in any other state but they are domicile of Madhya Pradesh are eligible for these types of seats. When it comes to the management and as well as the NRA seats, candidates from all the other states are eligible to claim these management and NRA seats. But for both management and NRA seats, there will be the category wise priority will be given in which the priority will be the MBBS candidates from Madhya Pradesh. Second priority will be followed by the domicile of the Madhya Pradesh and the third priority will be given to the other state candidates for these types of seats. When you take a look at the complete counselling process, the first step is registration followed by which the candidates will be filling up the application, the details of them and the security deposit has to be paid. After which the candidates will do the choice filling, round wise rules and regulations will follow up and the post allotment procedure is gonna come into the picture. Let's take a look at the registration process. All the eligible candidates will fill the basic details during their application filling and they will be paying a registration fee of rupees 1000 and as well as the portal fee of rupees 100. Once the registration is completed, the candidates will be followed up with the payment of security deposit. The most important part here is there is no security deposit in round 1. And when it comes to the round 2, for the government seat, unreserved candidates will be paying 1 lakh and reserved candidates like SC, BC, ST will be paying 2 lakh rupees. When it comes to the management, the candidates will be paying 5 lakh and for the NRA seat, the candidates will pay 10 lakh rupees. When it comes to the round 3, all the candidates, irrespective of whichever the category they belong to, they will pay 2 lakh rupees. For the NRA, the candidates will be paying 10 lakh rupees. Let's take a look at what are the basic documents required. The candidates will have to upload the documents like a need PG admit card, need PG scorecard, MBBS mark sheets, MBBS degree certificate, internship completion certificate and if there is any of the category the candidate is claiming those category certificates have to be uploaded during the application filling and once the candidates complete their application filling registration process and payment of the security deposit to the candidate will be gone with the merit list allotment by the DME if the candidate's name is in the merit list they will go on with the next process which is choice filling once the candidates go on with the choice filling the results will be announced out of which the candidates will be having three options to choose from if they are allotted with the seat the candidates they can accept the seat by downloading the allotment letter on payment of the tuition fee and the candidates will report to the college complete the admission procedure if the candidate wants to upgrade the candidates will pay the tuition fee online download their allotment letter report to the college and inform the government for the upgradation in the round two the candidates who are allotted with the seat and not satisfied with the allotted seat can take free exit in which the candidates will not do anything the system will recognize it as free exit and when it comes to the candidates who are not allotted they will automatically become eligible for round two and in round two the candidates will be given the chance of doing the fresh choices so the point to be noted is in the madhya pradesh there is a choice filling in every round which means the candidates will have to do the choice filling in every round the previously filled choices will become null and void in the round two the candidates if they are allotted with the seat the candidate can choose either to accept the seat 
by paying the tuition fee and reporting to the college and completing the admission procedure. If the candidates are willing to upgrade, we'll pay the tuition fee online, report to the college and inform the college that they are going for upgradation. And if the candidates are not satisfied, they can exit the counseling with the four feature. And if they are interested to participate in round three, we'll be paying the security deposit again and go on with the participation in round three. When it comes to the round three eligibilities and ineligibilities, the candidates and the year 2024 have got the eligibility by reducing the percentile to 15th and 10th. The candidates can do the fresh registration and they can participate in the state of Madhya Pradesh. When it comes to the registration, they will be paying the security deposit irrespective of the categories that's 2 lakhs which we have mentioned and for the NRS seat, they will be paying 10 lakh rupees. If the candidates are allotted with the seat, they have to either accept the seat or they can exit out of counselling by which the candidates will become ineligible to participate in the next round of counselling. In the year 2024, the percentile has been again reduced to 5th percentile. So the new eligible candidates have come into the picture. They had to do the complete procedure of registration and payment of security deposit for participation in the state of Madhya Pradesh. And these were about the details of how the roundwise rules and the post allotment procedure takes place in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Now, let's take a look at the cutoff and as well as seat matrix of the state of Madhya Pradesh for a better understanding for participation for the management or NRA, any type of government seat in the state of Madhya Pradesh. For that, we are going to go with the Hello Mentor portal. So, the candidates will be logging in on the Hello Mentor portal after the verification of the mobile number through OTP, they will land into the home page. And here you can see in the state counseling, as you can see from the drop down, it is state counseling. You can go on with the private seats. When you click on the private seats, government seats so in the private colleges, there are going to be various types of the category reservations present. And when it comes to the pure government seats, you can click on the government to understand the various category reserved seats. If you click on the NRA quota seats, you can see the private college which have offered the NRA seats and as well as you can click on the management seats to get into the private open details, private open seats details. In here, the candidates have to select unreserved non-domicile seats if they are from the other state. Here you can select the MCC for understanding about the MCC seat matrix. You can go on with the All India quota and you can see the various category reserved seats. You can go with the selection of DNB to understand the number of seats present in various categories. If you look you want into the tabular form, switch to the tabular form by clicking on this tool. And here you can see the Madhya Pradesh, the complete seat matrix round one and round two offered by the various types of institutes. For the cutoff analysis, click on the tools, select cutoff and allotments. Here on the toggle of state and MCC, select state as Madhya Pradesh and select the degree which you are interested for either MD or MS. Let's take MD. Let's take the course as radio diagnosis. Select the quota which you are looking for. Let's go with the government quota. Let's select the institute tag which is government institute. And when it comes to the category, you can select URXOP for an unreserved open candidate of the state of Madhya Pradesh. So in the first round, the lowest cutoff has been in Gandhi Medical College, Bhopal. The cutoff was 1085. In the highest cutoff was 21,089. In Mahatma Gandhi Memorial Medical College, Indore, the cutoff was 21,089. We want to take a look at the highest cutoff in round three and the lowest. So lowest cutoff was 1196 in Gandhi Medical College, Bhopal and the highest cutoff has gone up to 1660 in Shamsha Medical College, Reva in the round 3. Now, if you want to take a look at the management quota seats of the radiology department, let's remove all these filters and select the private quota open and here under this institute type, you can select whether private or the state private universities. Let's keep it as it is and select the category if you are a non-domicile candidate as you are XOP non-domicile. As in the year 2024, there were no non-domicile seats offered under the radio diagnosis branch. So we cannot see that drop down. So let's remove this radio diagnosis and see what are the other branches in which the other state can the other state candidate can claim. Here you can see unreserved non-domicile when you select. So this particular category or quota type of seats are for the candidates who are from other states and participating in the state of Madhya Pradesh for private seats. So the interesting thing in the Madhya Pradesh state counseling is for the round one other state candidates cannot participate or cannot do the choice filling for the management seats. The candidates 
will become eligible to participate the management seats from round 2 only but they are going to register in round 1 so in round 2 you can see you can go with the drop down of up uh, highest to lowest so there was no allotments happened in round 2 in the year 2024 as it was given for the domiciles in round 3 here you can see the cutoffs the lowest is 80861 for the pathology branch in ln medical college and research center in bhopal the fee structure is 8.5 lakhs and the highest cutoff has been gone up to 1,83,550 again for the pathology branch in the Chirayu Medical College. And in the year 2024, the clinical branches which were offered are only anesthesia in the RKDF Medical College and Index Medical College. And the cutoffs are 1,11,949 and 1,10,013 in the RKDF and Index Medical College respectively. If you want to look into the understanding of the colleges and the government hospitals or the private hospitals tied up with these institutes just click on the kyc and byc know your college before you choose tool click on the madhya pradesh state whichever the institute you want either government or private select your degree and select your course after that just click on the view more department wise you can see the average like in the year 2024 for the obg department of mahatma gandhi memorial medical college there were the total number of the patient load of the IPD and OPD here as we are very much clear about how to look into the cutoffs tool and as well as in the seat matrix. Let's come on to the part of bond and penalties in the year 2024 in the state of Madhya Pradesh. As you can see in the state of Madhya Pradesh, if you are having a government seat getting allotted with and if you are joining that particular seat the candidates are gonna have to serve for the state of madhya pradesh for one year if not the candidates will have to pay a penalty of rupees 10 lakhs and when it comes to the private colleges also the candidates will have to serve for one year and if not the candidates will have to pay a penalty of rupees 10 lakhs when it comes to the fee structure the candidates who are allotted with the government seat the fee structure will be around 1 to 1.5 lakhs and when it comes to the management seats, the fee structure is 13.5 to 22 lakhs, which is the highest in the Alphala Medical College. And when it comes to the NRS seats, it is 40 lakhs per year in the state of Madhya Pradesh. And if you want to take a look at the government and private college details, so these are the various government colleges present in the state of Madhya Pradesh. And these are the private colleges present in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Hope the video was informative and helpful for you. For any doubts, you can connect with us. The details are given in the description below. Thank you.